Good evening, I'm your host Adam, coming to you from an undisclosed location, and this is Anything Strange. Sit back, relax, and most importantly, open your mind. Today we dive into the case of Robert E. Cornish, a real mad scientist who brought dogs back from the dead. Have you ever heard that all dogs go to heaven? Well, if we could bring them back. Throughout American history, we have referred to our beloved dogs as man's best friend. But there have been multiple scientists throughout history who have done terrible things to dogs in the name of science. In the mid-1900s, there was Vladimir Demikov who would cut apart dogs and sew them together, creating a total of 24 two-headed dogs, many that lived successfully for a short period of time. 40 years later, this set the stage for other organ transplants. Around the same time, Sergei Burkinenko created a machine that worked as a heart, pumping blood into a dog's head after the dog was decapitated. This kept the dog's blood flowing and the dog breathing for a short period of time. His studies would go on to help the research for open heart procedures and more. But today we are talking about the mad scientist Robert E. Cornish, who had less of a scientific goal with his creation of a true pet cemetery and what we are calling the Lazarus Experiment. In the Christian New Testament, Jesus Christ is able to resurrect his recently deceased friend Lazarus through love and faith. Dr. Robert E. Cornish was a real life mad scientist who developed a way to accomplish the resurrection of recently deceased canines. Dr. Cornish started his attempts at reanimation to life after death with humans back in California in 1933. Using a traditional seesaw device, he would strap in a human body that had recently expired. He would then inject the corpse's blood with adrenaline and hairpin and rock the body back and forth on the seesaw in a morbid display, hoping to restore blood circulation and thereby resurrect the patient. Cornish went after man's best friend next, utilizing dogs just after they had been put to sleep. He put five different dogs on his seesaw of life, all dogs he named Lazarus. Two were actually successfully brought back from the dead, but like every grave riser in any zombie movie, they just weren't the same. Both dogs came back blind and insensible, although Cornish insisted they returned to normal eventually. These dogs lived for days, but he couldn't bring them back permanently. The mad scientist was not done with dogs. In 1947, Cornish developed a plan to again experiment on a deceased human. The Frankenstein's monster was chosen. The patient was a child murderer awaiting execution on death row. Perhaps thankfully his proposal was rejected, and the mad scientist was fired from his laboratory and retired as a simple toothpaste producer. Dr. Cornish was a real live Frankenstein, whose horrific feats have been all but completely forgotten. One begins to wonder, what is happening now, unreported in the shadows of dark science? Perhaps another attempt is underway to resurrect your own faithful and furry companions, or your loved ones, or even you. All right, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more strange stories, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at anythingstrangetv, and until next time, I'm your host, Adam, bringing you stories about anything strange. Mm -hmm.